Well, it's a cold, dreary winter day, so I think it's time for a shed day. Let me take you guys on a tour of my super awesome shed, man cave, whatever you want to call it. So here is my wood pile. Chop this all myself and split it. And now let's go inside. Okay, so this half is just kind of the garden storage. Got the tools here for the garden, little shelf, uh, and a bunch of outdoor furniture. So this side's just kind of a mess, but great storage. And then, actually, check it out. This uh, this awesome little curtain here, and the window curtains there, and there, I actually dyed myself, tie-dyed, with dye made from mushrooms, from the dyer's polypore mushroom. So this was just a white wool, and now it's this like cool golden yellow because of the dye of the dyer's polypore. So. In order to set the vibe here, let's go ahead and start a fire. Fire going good now. Put one more log in there. Beautiful. And we'll close the door, leave it a crack. And we're gonna plug the fan in to circulate the air so that it actually stays warmer in here with the air circulating. Got my heat shield that I made back here to keep it to spec and drilled, uh, cut and drilled this hole with the help of a friend of mine. And so now let's uh, plug the old fish lights in. Check it out. Got to do one more thing to get the vibe right. Oh yes. The mountains are blue. Luca came to join us. Isa, come here. This is Isa's perch. Come here. Up, up. Come on. Up, up. There's a good girl. All right. Now, we're not going to have the good whiskey today, but we are going to crack a course. Cheers. Woo. All right. Let me give you a tour. This is the very first shed I ever found before I even started YouTube on a little animal tracking course that I did in my Portland era. Found this awesome deer shed. And then all this year, my very first YouTube videos <laughs> were doing shed hunts. And I think, what was my very first shed? Actually, it was, was it this one? So check it out for elk. My very first elk shed hunt. Got the cool lights. Go cracking. And then check this out, okay? So we got a couple other sheds. This one's a big, beefy one. And this was from fly fishing in Japan for little cherry salmon. And this was my fishing permit, my fishing tag for the day. 
So then we got the cool fly tying stuff. So here's a bunch of flies that I've been tying for getting ready to go to Belize in February. So get excited because that video will be coming. Uh, been tying up a bunch of flies for bonefish and probably some small permit. And then here in these drawers is all the fly tying stuff. So here's my hooks and beads, tools, glues. Oh man, here's embarrassing but cool. Check this guy out. Very first fly I tied. Not very good. Little woolly bugger thing. Keep it for mementos. <laughs> Bunch of threads, all kinds of shiny stuff and frilly stuff. So yeah, some poly yarns and Antron. And then here we go with the furs and the hackles. Some pheasant tail few different capes, all different colors of capes here, peacock, and a whole bunch of deer hair fur, elk fur, we got a bunch of colored bucktails in here, all different colors, oh yeah, so... Then we got all the craft foam and whatnot for all the summertime hoppers. Little Renzetti vise. Another little travel vise here. And then, oh, check this can out. Super vintage, ancient, rainier can. Found this one this Father's Day with my dad out here um, in central Washington, fishing on some tributaries. So that was a fun find. Got my bird nerd stuff going on here. A little list of the birds that I see. And then this is a little relic from my firefighting days. So this is a little chainsaw bar wood cutout that was on my locker back on my first fire crew. And, oh yeah, this pride and joy dartboard right here. Let's see if we can get a bullseye for the camera. Bullseye. There it is. Oh, just missed it. Oh well, not a professional dart player, so. Yeah, and then a bunch of little decor up on the walls. We got the fly fishing, bass flies. We got the fire tools, safety first. We got a fire blanket to put it out. And currently right now, it is 44 degrees. But it's gonna heat up quick. So we just lit this fire just a few minutes ago. Check on it, yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much the shed here. And now that I've given the tour, actually, the whole family's gonna hang out in here, play some dice, roast some chestnuts, and have a little happy hour and snack. Mm -hmm. Some fresh chestnuts roasting on an open fire style. Let's play dice. Well, 10,000 here. 1,000 in or only? These chestnuts are done, so I'll just crack it open. Put the shell on the fire. Sweet. Good. Sweet hot nuts.
This is the end of December. New Year's Eve is tomorrow and then it's 2024. So I appreciate everybody joining me on this journey. Just a short little video to show you kind of where I hang out when I'm not fishing and foraging and working and doing all that good stuff. So here's my little shop shed. So stay with me in 2024 and I'll be excited to put out a whole bunch of new content for you guys. Whole bunch of mushroom foraging, fly fishing, gonna do a big pack rafting trip in Montana this year. Really looking forward to that again and lots of adventures. So thank you for staying tuned, hitting like and subscribe. All your comments and support is amazing using my affiliate links. I appreciate all you guys and all that you're doing. So happy new year to everybody.